Bill Shorten's campaign in the crucial Longman by-election here in Queensland has been sideswiped by Mark Latham. The former Labor leader has forged an alliance with One Nation in an attempt to damage his old party and its new leader. Here's political editor Andrew Probert. He was the man Labor once put up as the alternative Prime Minister. He went rogue a long time ago, even turning on his own side. Now Mark Latham screams from the fringe. All I, all I know is about I'm not when it comes to being a shyster, don't you ever let your be on personal hey? behaviour. Mr Latham has again outraged Labor, teaming up with Pauline Hanson in an automated phone message urging Queenslanders in the Longman by-election to vote for minor party candidates. Don't reward Shorten's dishonesty. Don't vote Labor. Please support minor parties and independents to shake up the system. Spoken by Mark Latham and P Hanson, authorised by P Hanson for Pauline Hanson's One Nation. Mark Latham's fallen out with everybody he's ever worked with and Pauline Hanson's fallen out with everybody she's ever worked with. So those two charlatans deserve each other. Mark Latham used to be someone, he's not anymore, so I'm not going to waste any time and energy on the sideshows. Though Mark Latham's treachery isn't new, the circumstance is poisonous for Labor. Longman is on a knife edge and the One Nation vote is expected to be in the low to mid-teens. One Nation's preferences helped Labor's Susan Lamb win in 2016. But Pauline Hanson's party won't be preferencing that way this time around. If Mark Latham uh, does to Pauline Hanson's vote what he did to Labor's vote, I'm not at all worried. There are five by-elections on July 28, but the hot political contests are in two. Longman and Braddon in Tasmania. Labor may have dismissed Mark Latham's intervention as irrelevant, but there is a touch of nervousness that he has fuelled the coalition's relentless focus on Bill Shorten's character. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.